Hey guys, it's me Nico again, here to bring you guys the second portion of the very first major recapping vlog. So let's go over the rest of this week's events, starting on Sunday. Well, um, after the work day, I didn't really do much after. So, you know, I sat back and watched football the entire day. 49ers won, so that was pretty beneficial for me, you know, 49er fan, huge Niner fan, so when they won, I was really happy, you know, it was against the Saints, we played them last year in the playoffs, and we beat them before we got beat by the Giants, so I was happy to see that they were able to beat them again in the regular season, so now we go all the way to St. Louis, and hopefully we can try to beat them instead of having the result end in a tie. And uh, the overall betting system, I lost. Uh, actually, no, I didn't lose this week. I pretty much, uh, the games were tie. Uh, the overall uh, system was a tie. So, you know, nobody won this round and, uh, you know, it was whatever. So that was pretty much it for that. And then, you know, nothing much. Uh, the weekly update got uploaded late, well, at least filmed late, so I wasn't able to get that done either, but, you know, it's whatever. So, yeah. And guys, one thing I want to apologize for, um, you know, I noticed that my eye kind of has a limp, or, you know, like a kind of uneven tone to it, you know, but that's just the way it is if I get really tired and I can see it kind of limping right now, so... You know, my eyes have always been like that. It's just, you know, I've been noticing it more now since I've been trying to keep an eye on the vlog. So, you know, if my eyes do that, just know that it happens. So, yeah, but that is it for that. On Monday, I was procrastinating on a lot of homework. By the way, guys, procrastinating is not good. Don't do it. It really sucks, but I was procrastinating on homework the entire Monday night. So I wasn't able to get much done with building. Uh, the Battle of Umbara mock, I, I was able to plan a couple of orders uh, before I started doing some of the homework. So I actually planned the first Bricklink order out for the basic parts. I already have a ton of parts that I essentially needed for that mock already. So that was already a great start for the beginning of that. And... Uh, you know, really glad to say that that's the, a pretty good start to the Umbara mock considering I already had so many black plates that the first brick link order will consist of more plates that will help out take out at least another half, another good portion of the mock. Because I have enough uh, black plates to cover two, green ba uh, two gray base plates worth of ground. So with this brick link order, uh, I can pretty much cover up two more base plates, hopefully. If not, maybe one base plate worth of ground, so that'll be somewhat good. So I was happy to get that done. And uh, also, my Dancing with the Stars pick, Dancing with the Stars ended this past week. I picked my pick on Monday, and... Uh, for those of you who don't know who Sean Johnson is, she is a former gymnastics champion, Olympian from the 2004 Olympics, and I don't think she participated in the 2008 Olympics. I know she didn't participate in 2012, uh, but you know she's retired now, and she is she is a phenomenal dancer. I mean, she won a couple of years back on Dancing with the Stars. She was back again on All Stars. She almost won this time. She got runner up, you know. But I mean, I wanted her to win, you know. So that was my pick. I mean, Sean Johnson. She is pretty good looking. But not only that, I've seen her dance. She's very talented at what she does. Uh, when it comes to dancing, at least you know she's been trained by that same guy, you know. But either way, not very gymnast are, you know, steady and sturdy enough to do some of the rhythmic movements of dance. But she pulled it off well, and uh, if she would have won again, I would have been happy. 
but you know, unfortunately, she uh, she lost to uh, Melissa Rycroft, I believe. Uh, she's a uh, uh, I forgot what she was, but yeah, so she won. That was unfortunate. Uh, possible mock contest winners. I didn't really get much mock contest. Uh, I didn't really get much entries into the mock contest, uh, but some of the people I do remember getting the entries from. They did a pretty excellent job, um, and I'm gonna go over and look at some of the winners, or possible winners, if you will, of that convention. All right. So let's looky here at some of these possible winners. Mock contest. Here we are. Video responses. Some of the people who could have won from the people who entered on time. Off the Clone Wars category, who would have probably won? It would have been more than likely Silver Bricks Creations. So Silver Bricks Creations, if you're watching that, you more than likely would have won this contest from the Clone Wars perspective. Now, as for the runner-up, at least from the entries I received on my main channel, that probably would go to the Spider Monkey 232. So, that is it for that. Uh, I only had one Old Republic entry overall for the entire mock contest, so I couldn't really tell you guys who would have won that. But, you know, obviously that one guy would have won the whole thing since he's the only one who entered. So, that unfortunately is how uh, that category of the mock contest would have been guessed at. But now we move on to some of the entries on the alternative channel. Who probably would have won the Galactic Civil War category? It most likely would have been Tom Solo. 93. He would have won the grand prize overall, and who would have got runner-up? It would have been the real Commander Fox, who actually won Mock Contest 1.0 last year. He got the second overall placing in that. He probably would have won that runner-up stage in the Galactic Civil War category. So, for those are your possible